soldiers, sailors, and airmen of the Allied Expeditionary Force. You are about to embark upon the great crusade toward which we have striven these many months. The eyes of the world are upon you. The hopes and prayers of liberty-loving people everywhere march with you. In company with our brave allies and brothers in arms on other fronts, you will bring about the destruction of the German war machine, the elimination of Nazi tyranny over the oppressed peoples of Europe, and security for ourselves in a free world. Your task will not be an easy one. Your enemy is well-trained, well-equipped, and battle-hardened. He will fight savagely. We shall fight on the beaches. We shall fight on the landing grounds. We shall fight in the fields and in the streets. We shall fight in the hills. We shall never surrender. The tide has turned. The free men of the world are marching together to victory. I have full confidence in your courage, devotion to duty, and skill in battle. We will accept nothing less than full victory. Good luck. Let us all beseech the blessing of Almighty God upon this great and noble undertaking. Hey guys, it's Beastie, and that was the new Battalion 1944 trailer. If you haven't heard about this game yet, check out my video talking all about it by clicking the link in the description below. But once again, a new trailer which looks great, and listening to those historic speeches makes my arm hairs stand up. But the trailer is a bonus today. With this video, they announced their stretch goals, which is basically 10 things that they want to design and create for this game, but they need more money to do so. The 10 goals are... A full-time community manager at $225,000, which they have already surpassed, they've already achieved that. Enhanced particle effects at $250,000. A Kurahi Mountain Boot Camp at $275,000, probably said that wrong. Uh, but this is inspired by the Band of Brothers and gives players the ability to practice their movement and weapon recoil in an offline environment. A competitive D-Day map at $300,000. British Forces at $325,000, more cosmetics at $350,000, Russian Army at $400,000, which is a Red Army character set and weapons, an offline behind enemy lines mode at $500,000, which gives players the ability to play competitive maps offline against AI bots and compete for high scores against their friends. Sounds pretty cool, it's a nice way to practice and uh, kind of compete. Introducing the Pacific Theater at $600,000, which gives players the ability to fight the Japanese across maps set in the Pacific, Southeast Asia, and China. And last but not least, a single player campaign mode at $1.2 million. This last one might sound a little pricey, but I can guarantee you that most games spend a lot more than that. And if you think about it, a single player campaign means a lot more research, people, work, time, voice acting, etc. Though this all sounds great and I'm going to pledge at least to get the multiplayer World War II game that I want, the devs are asking for all this money in the next six days, which I think seems a little crazy since there isn't really anything groundbreaking or new here, but you never know, the internet is a crazy place. Though this might seem far off, the devs added a digital art book for any backers who give $25 or more. So if you're interested in backing them or you just want to learn more about the game, like I said before, check out my video that I'll put in the description below or I'll also leave a link to their Kickstarter page where they have all the information you need. Thanks for checking out my video. Leave a like for your boy and see you in the next video.